The rest of our fights are five rounds for the night. Some of the best warriors in the state going toe to toe, blow for blow, in these championship matchups. Introducing your first fight. Here Put we go, our, our first title fight of the night. For Josh Bitterman. Josh Bitterman come out to some, uh, some two pies. <laughs> I'm kicking it back a little bit. Um, Bitterman's fighting out of martial arts unlimited, another uh, individual representing 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu. He's got a record of eight wins with only one loss. Six of those wins come by way of knockout. Um, he's got a tough test in front of him, Trombley, a veteran with nearly 40 fights. Bitterman uh, seems up to the test, though. Almost definitely. And I do know that Bitterman's 8-1 and one record, his one loss is to the man he is about to face, Adam Trombley. Beautiful. So I, I know he'd like to erase that blemish on his um, record by uh, beating Trombley. Oh, yeah, I completely agree 100% on that. And, you know, you got somebody like a veteran like Trombley with 38 fights. 38 fight. It's rare. It's almost like a throwback to, um, you know, amateur boxing where guys would have 50, 100, 100 plus. you know, 100 plus fights. A guy has an amazing amount of fights. Uh, and Trombley, you know, obviously not only with the experience but the impressive record is a bull and it's going to be tough to deal with. But Bitterman's game and he wants to erase that loss and erase that blemish and uh, show that he's the uh, better man. Well, absolutely. You know, and there's a question at 38 fights. When do you go pro? When is it time? Um, that's an excellent question, and I ask that about a lot of these guys because his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Adam Trombley. I ask that about a lot of these guys who have 20, 30 fights. Um, whether maybe they're uncomfortable, I can't speak for anybody personally, but um, I'm at the personal position where if you're at the skill level, you've had. 10, 15, you know, even five fights, depending on your skill level, it's time to go pro and get paid. I agree with that, you know. You made a really good point. I mean, if you're not evolving much at the 10 fights, maybe it's time to make the jump or uh, maybe to start a different career. You know, there's no reason to have that many amateur fights. There's no reason why you should do this. I mean, I understand it's fun, but with somebody at the skill level of Trombley at 38 fights, should have made the jump probably about 15 fights ago, to be honest, you know? And I and I, and I agree with that assessment. And, then, and and another thing that's brought up is, like, how fair is it to a guy who's an amateur who has nine fights versus your 38 fights? But, you know, you even see that at the pro level, you know? One of our guest referees, Darren Krushank, fought uh, recently Eve Edwards. Eve Edwards had roughly 50 fights, where Darren had, you know, less than 20 fights. There's a huge discrepancy. So, um... You see that thing, that discrepancy in fights across the board, but I mean, jump pro. The following contest is being brought to you this evening by Vengeance MMA Gear. Some of the hottest in mixed martial arts apparel. Check them out in the back against the wall. Some great deals for us all. Vengeance MMA Gear. Introducing your fighters. First, fighter to my right. Tonight, he is out of the blue corner, wearing a solid black trunks. He comes to us. Standing in at six feet, one inch tall, weighing 185 pounds, putting his impressive eight and one record on the line here tonight. Training under the lights of Martial Arts Unlimited, Josh Straight Business Bitterman. His opponent across the cage, man to my left. Tonight, he is out of the red corner. Wearing a purple Under Armour, he comes to us at five feet 11 inches tall, weighing 185 pounds, putting his impressive 30 and eight record on the line here tonight. An independent fighter known as Adam the Jumper Trombley. Just notice that at Trombley. Say hello got to Stefani as she makes her way around. Shows you that it's round one. Your referee in charge, 
Danny McIntyre. Just notice that Trombley has one of uh, Michigan's finest uh, MMA pro Dom Sedoni in his corner. The Dominator. You gotta love that little guy, you know, always comes to fight. When Dom fights, always a knockout is expected to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Dom, Dom's, Dom's a tough cat. Both these guys look in great shape. You know, I, it's surprising, um, especially at the amateur level, you, you, you have a tendency to see guys come out of shape, but I gotta be honest, out of all the fights that happened tonight, most of the guys have looked in excellent shape and have shown they're in excellent shape and to be able to go the distance if need be. Most definitely. And there is no question where Trombley wants this fight. Trombley goes, wants it to Ooh. the ground. He has a good chin. You know, he's tough. He's country tough. You know, he's... <laughs> Just like you, baby. And you know? <laughs> Except right where my tight shorts a little bit higher up. <laughs> it's the only difference. And I'm about four weight classes below him. Nice shot. Oh, big knee. Great defense. Yeah, but this is where Tom Trombley's so strong, man. Oh! Big takedown. Once again, Michael Pennell yelling in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> Bitterman looks like he's working for a triangle potentially. I love you, man, but dang it, you're in my ear. <laughs> Trombley's out and he's passed. To have a guy that big, that strong on you this early, Bitterman's going to have to weather the storm. You know, like I said earlier, you know, I used to train with Trombley, and Trombley is one of those guys who are country, strong, like, very, very strong, solid wrestling background. You know, he went to Dundee High School, wrestled for Dundee High School, and naturally, wrestling for Dundee, you're going to be a, a pretty good wrestler. Yeah, that, that portion of the state has some quality, quality wrestlers, year in and year out, whether we're talking Dundee, all the different um, schools within Monroe, the Bedfords, you have some horses that come out of that hey, region. The airport didn't produce any, you know, we, <laughs> we did all right, all right? Yeah, well, you got the uh, lightweight champion, uh, Devin Brown. That's true. You know, and the thing is about, a lot of people talk about the, the toughest parts of the state. I truly believe Southeast Michigan is the toughest part. You know, you got people like Adam Trombley, Devin Brown, Don Sindoni, Mike Sindoni, you know, uh, my brother. People... That's where, like, Monroe County is where we're all reproduced from wrestling. Oh, nice Omoplata attempt to an armbar transition. Trombley just bulldozed out of that, but that was a great submission attempt. Trombley better be careful to follow the He's going to get a triangle. That's deep. He control the posture. Trombley, Trombley can be in trouble here. Strong, though. Uh, Bitterman should have the foot on the head and control the posture. He was too loose there. It was a, it was a, initially, it was, oh, knee bar attempt. Wow, not often you see Adam Trombley going for a submission. <laughs> he went for a knee bar. Wow, well, yeah, knee bar at that, that's, a, that's quite impressive. Yeah. You know, Bitterman, he was in a great position to finish that triangle. But you have the sweat and just the power of An Adam Trombley uh, that forbid him from being able to finish it. But uh, we'll see if that submission and that 10th planet system is going to uh, be the X factor, so to speak, coming into these uh, championship rounds. You know, the thing is, like, you know, Bitterman had success in his guard with Trombley. The thing about Trombley is he is so relentless with his attack. You know, and he's so strong, it's so hard to catch him, you know? And it's, it's a type of thing where if we're not used to keeping that pace, maybe he's not even damaging you, but he's just going to wear you out. And by the third, the fourth round, you are slim, you are ready to be put to bed. Oh, absolutely. And this goes back to 38 fights compared to nine fights. 100%. An absolute veteran um, has represented himself in the WXC cage on countless occasions. Trying to come out almost like a wrestling type looking. Yeah, I was about stance. to say that's a that's a unique stance. Nice low single, nice defense by Bitterman. Good knee by Bitterman. You nice. can just tell by trying the way he climbs up that the grip he has. He's 
<laughs> probably bailing all that hay back. You know, <laughs> I'm Dundee, Michigan. I'm looking for Charlie to look up for a scoop. He's going to take here. his back. He's oh, going to take nice. his back. Very nice job by Trombley and Bitterman. Nice scramble. A little change of events here. Trombley jumping the guard for a guillotine. Armin guillotine. Is it Armin? I can't see. It's Armin, yeah. Armin. I don't, it doesn't look like he's gonna finish it. He's working out. No, he's working out. out, he's fine. Drew, what do you think it says though? Do you think that's that's maybe a sign that Trombley's a bit tired that he's pulling guard for a guillotine? You know, not often do I see uh, Trombley pulling guard. Oh, you know? big shot. Big shot from Bitterman. Trombley's hurt. I do think he's gonna take a lot more of that to finish Trombley though. Good knee. Wow. Bitterman putting it on him. Trombley being Trombley's tough. hurt. Referee looking closely. Trombley trying his best to weather the storm, but Bitterman is putting it on him. I'm telling you, Trombley, dude, is the definition of true grit. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> you ain't lying, Drew. I'm telling you, man. I've Take seen, his back. I've seen uh, Trombley down his row before. Looks for a rear naked, a short rear naked, perhaps. It's there. Uh, there got it is. Him. Rear naked submission. Rear Passed naked show. Bitterman. Bitterman. Impressive performance. Impressive. Heard very, him standing, very, very took his back, sunk in the rear naked choke, and finished him. Impressive, impressive performance. We got a new WXC Middleweight champion Josh Bitterman. Is it just me? Does it look like Bitterman could probably make 170 also? He'd be a massive 170, but uh, he, he it's a there's a potential he can make that cut. Also, same same thing with with, with uh, Willis Black earlier, who was very impressive. A guy who looks shredded at 80 85, but potentially. It could cut to 70, but it comes back to what we were saying. You know, what do you feel comfortable at? How much does it drain you? Well, I'm pretty sure we might. We, I think we just ha uh, have our uh, next matchup at 185 for his first title defense. Five very well could be Willis Black. That would be an interesting bout. Wow. Bitterman's got the experience, but uh, as we've seen earlier, so, hey, hey, Willis is no slouch. Josh, Josh. Josh, Josh, Josh. We got some excited fans behind us. People are excited, you know. Bitterman has a strong fan following. It came out to see him. Seconds. They're proud of him. He won this In title. The second round. <laughs> Your winner by way of rear naked choke and new WMC 185 pound champion. Yes, straight business, Bitterman. Very good job, congratulations. And also hats off to Adam Trombley for you know weathering that storm the best he could, man. He he did not want to give up. You got you got you gotta have to throw the kitchen sink and some at Trombley. He he's a tank. He's not gonna stop. But Bitterman showed that hey, he he had the answer to Trombley's riddle and uh, he erases that little blemish on his um his record by uh besting Trombley. I like that. The answer to the Joker's riddle. <laughs>